During these times where the whole world is uneasy and it feels like the apocalypse is around the corner, and we can be one of two type of people. We can be the type of person who hoards all the toilet paper and doesn't let any of their neighbors have any. Or we can be the type of person who's like, yo, I'm gonna do, what can I, how can I help? What can I give to other people? What is my contribution? What can I do to make other people's lives better? Instead of just focusing on this little me, focus on the big us. So I sort of had in mind to say something to the effect of what Robbie said in that piece of footage over there except that I had kind of meant to say it in a more strongly worded way. So in the interest of charity, I figure that I would let Robbie do the talking. So the COVID situation has become something of a serious thing in many countries recently. And I think, you know, in this time, we owe it to ourselves to, you know, keep our minds a little bit on the people who are most affected by this pandemic. Malaysia closed its borders a while ago. And of course, this affects the hundreds of thousands of people who live in Malaysia and commute to Singapore for work. So there was this news the other day about this, I think a dozen or so people, Malaysians, who are sleeping rough at a train station near the border. They've since been relocated, thank you to the Singapore government, but you know, you're best thinking, what would drive a person to be willing to sleep like a homeless person for at least two weeks, just in order to keep their jobs? Many lives are probably hanging by the thread you know, even without any of this COVID nonsense happening. And the COVID situation must be pulling the rug out from under many people's lives right now, so. Preventing people from doing what they do to make a living which pays for their food, that scares me. As people who are less affected, you know, like myself and you as well, hopefully, I think that we owe it to ourselves to keep these less fortunate people constantly in our thoughts as well. The healthcare workers in Italy and in China, working over time just to constantly risk getting infected. You know, thoughts and prayers is kind of a ridiculed concept nowadays. But I think that, you know, that's where you start. Thoughts and prayers means that you're keeping people that are suffering, who are in need, firmly in mind and in your prayers, if that's what you do as well. And that is how you start to care about what's going on with these people, to have kind of a radar to see what you can do to help these people. For those of us to whom this pandemic is still pretty much just an annoyance, the one thing we should never do is piggyback on the idea of just in case and use that as an excuse to grab onto way more stuff than we actually need. If we have to lose sleep over anything, let it be over how we can get resources, how we can get things that are needed to the people that really need them. Meanwhile, the latest hiking video is done. It is now on YouTube. I'm quite happy about it. About as happy as I could be about a video shot on the phone. And now that that gives me some time to spare, it's probably high time I did something about uh, about this mess that I call my apartment. This, by the way, is a not cheap microphone that my friend loaned to me and that I used to narrate my last hiking video. And it has now turned into just another piece of rubble. If you're watching, my apologies.
this is an occasion for watermelon break, I don't know what is. Mm. Oh, and in case my housemate who's currently stuck in Vietnam is watching, you're welcome. I'll be expecting my 4550 when you're back. <laughs> So I saw this in the theater the other day and it was really funny, it's really great, I highly recommend it. They gave us this poster which is nice. But the trip itself to the theatre, it was a bit of a disaster. I went with a couple of friends, you guys know who you are and you know what happened. Good show. Talking about anime films, last night I just watched Spirited Away. And it's kind of funny because for a guy that has been into anime for a while, I've watched remarkably little of Studio Ghibli. Spirited Away is the best Ghibli I've seen by far. It's one of the best things I've ever watched on the screen, frankly. This thing came out in 2001. That's kind of amazing. The art is wonderful, the music is great, and just the sheer imaginativeness of the whole setting is already enough to make it quite a piece of work. But there's also so much going on in there that you could think about. This idea of, I don't know, the propriety of the universe. If you bow to nature, it bows back. If that made any sense. If you look at Chihiro, the main character, she's always asking permission, bowing, expressing her gratitude, apologizing. And it's just really cool, you know, how in a setting like that in Spirit of the Way where, you know, it's full of these deities and spirits and kami and yokai, proper behavior, these codes of conduct, your humility, your courtesy, even your manners are things that are universal, even in realities so far removed as the ones in Spirit of the Way. That's a kind of mythological cosmology that I find very appealing. That cat did not trust me. Not at all. So, I volunteered for temperature screening duties at church tomorrow, but they've decided to cancel all physical services for the next two weeks. So all of a sudden I'm free tomorrow morning. And I'm thinking that I should probably take that opportunity to Go take a walk. There's a section at the canal that I want to explore. So, we'll see. It's also very tempting to just sleep in, but... So while the day ends here, this vlog is actually going to roll over to tomorrow. Uh, I regret everything. <sighs> Okay, let's go take that walk.
not gonna lie, it's way too early and it's already really hot. Okay, I'm done. I mean, it's kind of nice and all, but holy bejesus, it's hot. I'm a little bit disappointed, not gonna lie. How is it so hot at 8 in the morning? And I got bitten by some ants and stuff. Look, I know, I know it's kind of silly to be complaining about trivialities like that, especially when, when lots of people around the world are literally stuck in their homes right now. We can still kind of go out in Singapore. Oh, and which reminds me, I know about what I said last week, but if the exhortation in your country is to stay home, then please stay home. Well, that was kind of cool. That was probably the first time I've heard a sermon while lying down in bed. The pastor, he seemed un uncharacteristically rattled, and I think that has to do with what I said a few videos ago about how it's just really weird to be talking to a camera. He would normally be talking to a congregation, like actual people sitting, you know, in the pills. But today, uh, he had to talk to an empty auditorium and basically just a bunch of cameras. So probably that's what, you know, that's what got in the way. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. I still have to edit this together. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again, presumably.